Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to find a user's location in React using HTML5 and also Google Maps. So I'm gonna break it down into a few steps. The first is gonna be getting the user's coordinates with HTML, and then we're going to reverse geocode those coordinates to find the actual street level address. And then we're gonna be rendering those coordinates into a static Google Map. I'm gonna post all of the uh, pertinent info in the description. All right, well, let's get started. So here is our basic React app. I just did create React, React app. I set it up so that we have um, class extends component and we have our state set up here. And then I just added a title and then a button that's gonna have a function here, get location, all the uh, fields that we need to get data for. All right, so let's begin with uh, setting up this get location function. So what we're gonna do first is um, we're going to bind it here to our state. All right, and then let's declare it. So let's come over here now and let's grab this uh, get location All right, so what we're gonna do here is uh, any sort of error handler, we're just gonna alert it for the user, keep it simple. What we have here, and, and this is gonna show up if the browser doesn't accept geolocation since um, I think a few of the older ones don't. This is basically just using the API to get the position. So this is a callback function that is going to pass in the data and be able to use it however we want. So what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna rename this to get coordinates so it's more specific. And I'm going to put this. So now we're gonna declare another function here for the callback. So this is gonna be get coordinates. And then we're gonna pass in position is going to be the argument passed in. And uh, what are we gonna do with position? Well, let's set state, because we're gonna retrieve latitude and longitude. For now, let's, let's actually just console log position and see what we get. So when we open up this object, we can see chords. We're gonna just access latitude and longitude. And let's set state. Okay, so now this should be updated. So let's see if the JavaScript here renders our state. Well, so we need to bind get coordinates to our state scope. Okay, that should work. And there we go, there are our coordinates. The next part is somewhat optional, but I think we should now uh, handle the possible um, error scenarios. I think this is just good practice to do um, with anything. So let's create another function here that um, is handle uh, location error. We'll just paste that in. And it looks like it receives an argument of error. We should give it default. So let's change all of these X enter HTML to alert so that it'll just simply alert the user. Okay, and then the <clears throat> Error is the second argument in this callback. 
if there is an error, it's going to pass it to here and then we're going to alert the user. So let's go ahead and, and give that a shot. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and deny the request for geolocation. All right, so let's block and there we go, we get an alert. All right, and since we see here now displaying the result in a map, let's go ahead and do this one quickly since we have access to the latitude and longitude. Let's use a ternary expression here in the JSX that says, um, let's render the map only if the latitude and the longitude is present. And it'll be an image source to be determined and uh, alt will just be blank. And if that's not there, let's just render nothing. All right, so I got a URL from the Google Maps API documentation. This is string interpolation. We'll use these little symbols here and this allows us to then inject in variables like state and then the uh, our Google API call. And by the way, um, you need a Google API key to do any sort of Google Maps API calls now. Let me just walk you through this quickly. So basically I'm injecting the um, latitude and longitude from our state and this should be present because of this check right here, this condition. And then um, this is just kind of default um, size, 400 width by 300 height. You can edit that, of course. Sensor false. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is kind of what you should do by default. And then um, I'm setting a red marker at our latitude and longitude and injecting my private key, which I need to import. And let's, uh, let's give this a shot and see how it looks. Allow. And there we go. And that's, uh, that's perfect. That's what we want. This is far from my house. This is the coordinates that I gave it here in Google Chrome. Now we just are left with the address. You can see that our address is going to come from this.state.useraddress. So let's create a new function here called um, get user address. Not create the function. Actually, let's be a little bit more specific here and let's call it let's call it reverse geocode coordinates. And so within here we're gonna fetch, we're gonna use our URL string here from Google Maps, the API geocode, and we're gonna give it the latitude and longitude separated by a comma and our API key, of course. And then what we're gonna do is then we're gonna make sure the response is in JSON. And then let's set our states given the data we have. Let's uh, first, let's console log our data just to see what kind of results we get. And of course, before we do anything else, let's um, let's catch any errors and alert. Okay, um, but we also need to call this function somewhere. What we'll do here is um, we'll call it after our get coordinates after the coordinates after this the state has been set. All right, so let's look at the object here and let's look at our results. So pretty much it, it runs from the very first item in the object to the last, it gets from more specific to least specific, it just says United States. And the very most specific, it tells us here, it gives us the exact street address. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just grab this and set our state. And that is user address equals data result zero dot for matted underscore address. 
and let's refresh and see what we get. All right, and there we have it. Let me know if you have any questions. Like this video and subscribe if it helped you. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.